MVP race, uh, race right now, which heavily involves the Dallas Cowboys starting quarterback, a man by the name of Dak Prescott, who is having undoubtedly the best season of his career. He's tops in the NFL in virtually every statistical category since week five, that infamous Niners loss in touchdown passes, touchdown interception ratio, pass rating, QBR, the whole bit. Dak Prescott has been playing fantastic football, but you've got other MVP competitors such as Patrick Mahomes, such as Jalen Hurts. Some have even argued for guys, non-position, uh, non-quarterback players like uh, Tyree Kill. So I'll start with you, John. John, today, if the regular season were to conclude, and we know this is a regular season award, would Dak Prescott be the MVP? Uh, no, 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 at all. Just like you said, he's in, he's in the tops, and just like I said last week about Purdy, like he's in the mix if you want to consider in the mix. But as far as like front runner or a chance to win it, nah. You got hurts that you know, uh, 15 yards, I think, a game less. And passing than um, Dak, but also Hurts is what top three in rushing touchdowns. So if you want to talk about MVP candidate, you got Jalen Hurts. Uh, Purdy actually got a better QBR than Dak. So if you want to say that one, and we was arguing about Kurt Purdy last week, and then you also got statistically Lamar Jackson that's up there doing his thing. The Ravens are you know hide and ride. I know we got a topic later about that. So yeah, if you want to say he's in the mix. Yeah, just to be America's team, they always look good. Uh, Dak is having a great season. I always give Dak his props. I'm never a Dak hater. Uh, I, you know, when people say he's not a top-10 quarterback, I'll argue with him. But uh, if he's in the race, yeah, but is he the – can he win it? No, I don't think so. I think, like I said, you got Hurts, you got um, Lamar Jackson, you even Tyreek Hill. And like I said, even two of numbers are, like, crazy as well. So if we were stopped today, no, he's he's not the – he's not the – MVP. If we if it was today, today is what? The 28th of November? Nah, he won't win it. I think it'll probably give it a hurt to Lamar Jackson. Yeah, you know, the beauty of it, I, here's the thing with Lamar Jackson, the only thing I push back on with him is that Dax, first of all, Dax's numbers are, are universally better across the board, and one could argue in terms of weapons, and now Mark Andrews now gone for the Ravens, you could argue though as far as numbers are concerned, it's kind of, or I'm sorry, uh, weapons are concerned, it's kind of dead even with what Lamar has compared uh, to what Dak has. And then we talk about Jalen Hurts, listen, Jalen beat Dak the first meeting, but Dak outplayed Jalen, maybe this meeting in a couple of weeks will kind of be the tiebreaker and the deciding factor, but Jalen is, is a very worthy MVP candidate as well. John, John, I will give you a good take, that's a solid take, I'll give you 100 points there uh, for your take here on the 8 o'clock spots to start off our defending champion right here. I'll move on to you now, Dylan. Do you think Dak Prescott, if the season ended today, is the MVP of the National Football League? Um, I do believe that Dak Prescott had a statement game um, this past weekend, but I don't think he is the MVP like as of right now. Um, as was mentioned before, Joan Hurts, it, it's so hard when the Cowboys aren't even the best team in their division to be considered the MVP for um, as of right now. And, you know, and while Dak doesn't have too much working for him, and he is the big sole proprietor of that offense. Um, I'm still banging on the table for Tua getting his uh, MVP this year. And, you know, the more that he keeps on dealing and, Still, the Dolphins are the number one scoring offense in the NFL right now, so that should definitely count for something. And while you can argue targets-wise, you know, having Terry Kill and Jalen Waddle and, and such a, a spectacular running game, um, Tua is what drives that offense. And if they, if teams weren't afraid of Tua, then the running game would not be what it'd be. So I still think Tua is the MVP. That's fair. Although the and again, the thing only thing I would push back on with Tua is the case for Tua is similar in a way as as it is for Brock Purdy. It's hard to argue. You, you made a, a great point. I agree that, that it's hard to consider Dak for MVP when it's not even the best team in his own. Uh, the Cowboys aren't the best team in their own division, the NFC East. But what I would say is that when you're arguing for somebody on a guy's offense, whether or not he's the most valuable player in his own offense, Purdy, you could say that with Christian McCaffrey. Some have even said Trent Williams, which there's some merit there. And then the same case with Tyreek Hill. Like you, you should, we should almost have like a rule. Like if there's somebody on your same offense that is that is at least receiving some MVP uh, notoriety and discussion, you know, maybe we have to at least put some sort of asterisk next to it, but it's a fair point. You make fair points across the board. Good take there uh, by Dylan to start the night on the 8 o'clock spot. And moving on to you, AJ, from the Cowboys Camp Fan Podcast. I think I have some sense of what your answer is going to be, but nonetheless, I will still ask it. Is Dak Prescott the MVP of the National Football League? I mean, I go by the rule that 
MVP is most valuable player, not uh, not necessarily the best player. Although, of course, you got to have the stats to to compete, and uh, so it's usually going to be someone who's in that top three of their position um, at, at, for quarterbacks. And if it's going to be a wide receiver, or running back, they have to be basically blowing the roof off um, over everyone else. So yes, Dak Prescott for me is he, he is he is a he definitely uh, uh, should be considered the top. Um, player for an MVP. Now, if we ended the season today, he would have less, I would have less uh, fuel for that fire. But if we look at the, the trajectory here, and this is including rushing and and passing yards combined, Dak Prescott comes out ahead of uh, Mahomes and Hurts uh, in terms of total yards produced. But the bigger stat is their touchdown to interception ratio. Dak Prescott's on a, if, if we continued the trajectory from, from today to the rest of the, uh, to the end of the season, uh, Dak Prescott would be a 5.4 touchdown interception ratio. Mahomes and Hurts. Mahomes is 2.3 and Hurts is 1.8. He throws the ball away too much for me to be, to consider that a most valuable player. <clears throat> and if we look at the, that, the, the pace of these interceptions as well, Hertz will finish with just about 16 interceptions. So you tell me, someone who's giving the ball away so much, is that real, uh, valuable to their to their team? Or is it just valuable to the offense because he's able to put up those numbers? I question how many, because I don't know where to find these stats, but I question how many touchdowns and yards, and touchdowns specifically, is Hertz getting because of that tush push? And is that something that any other quarterback could come in and do, given how strong that offensive line and that formation is? So, the final thing I would I I would just say here is, of course, I'm I'm a I'm a homer, so and I'm a, I'm a Dak writer, uh, but I, I just think that those stats alone and just and and considering like the team that Hurts is playing for and the tools that he has around him and and that scheme, I just think that. Um, if you remove Dak from the Cowboys, another question is, would Dan Quick's, Quinn stick around? Would he be willing to stay around with a team that's kind of subpar in offense? Because Dak provides a lot of opportunity by not throwing the ball away that the defense can come on well-rested. So, yes, Dak is, uh, for me, he's, he's the MVP. He's the MVP in my heart always, though, so. There you, well, listen, at least you at least acknowledge that, acknowledge that you are a homer and that you are obviously going to be loyal <laughs> to your guy, Dak Prescott, and to the Cowboys in general, which we respect that, obviously, of, of any fan base. But, yeah, that's an interesting point. I heard actually somebody else pose that. Like, you know, when you compare the rushing touchdowns, Dak to Hurts, obviously Hurts is going to blow Dak out of the water. Um, I, I guess the only sort of pushback I would have uh, in terms of the brotherly shove, the tush push, whatever you want to call it, is the fact that Hurts, in some way, I know we get tired of hearing about how he how he squats 600 pounds, but that does matter. Uh, he, he can do things that maybe you can't run the tush push with a guy, you know, not taking shots, but like a with Kyler Murray or Bryce Young, uh, Jalen Hurts' size and physicality certainly helps him uh, in that regard. So, AJ, uh, we got a three-way tie, folks, because I'm going to give AJ a good take as well. Solid take by Alex, Alex Johnson. I, so we are tied 100 all uh, moving I, into the second round. Before we move into the second round, let's look at the comments. Uh, oh, my goodness. See, we got our guy Barry Grant Jr., who's currently now the points leader in the 8 o'clock spot. He says, Dak is not a top-10 quarterback. Let's fight, John John. So he's ready to go back and hey, forth with John Rivera. Hey, I got, Your I got it. I got it. No, nah, he can, hey, he's a Dallas fan, so he used to be a Jets fan, just for everybody that didn't know. You know what I mean? <laughs> but uh, not to uh, to reply to y'all guys' uh, Dak thing, right? Uh, what? It was like the same offense, then Dak take over for Romo. Uh, when Dak got hurt, um, then the other guy come in and do his thing, too. I mean, compare right? the numbers of night and day. Right? Uh, no, I'm just saying. Impact. I'm just yeah. saying, though. If you, take, if you take Lamar Jackson off the Ravens, they ain't really going to do too much. If you take um, Jalen Hurts from the Eagles, like – that whole dynamic and offense have to change completely. You see that offense in Indianapolis with the offensive coordinator. So. Oh yeah, no, that's fair. Just, that's, you know, they, just, you make just saying, just saying, just saying. No, no question. I'm, I'm glad you call that uh, Barry's uh, hypocrisy because Barry wasn't. But then again, I was also a former Cowboys fan, so I, I do have some sympathy no, for so Barry Jr. Some, 